Hey, welcome friends back again. Uh, today I'll be taking up a session which is specifically related to numbers. Asked in CAT, ZAT, and MAT and other MB entrance examinations. Now this is one uh, topic which is very very dreadful for many of the students who are preparing for CAT. So there's an application which I'm talking about in remainders. There's one theorem which is very helpful which is called as Fermat theorem, right? It says a to the power p minus 1 into k which means a multiple of p minus 1. When divided by p the remainder is always 1, right? Where the p the denominator is prime and a and p are co-primes. So if I have to apply this and reduce down the question into a very simple form, let us see an example. So it says 723 to the power 243 plus 318 to the power 243 divided by 17, what is the remainder, right? So what we'll do is we'll break it into two parts. So first part becomes 723 to the power 243 divided by 17 and the second part becomes 3118 to the power 243 divided by 17. I will find the remainders of both the two and then I will add the remainders and get the answer, right? So this part says if this is 17 a prime number and these two are co-prime, then the 16th power or multiple of 16th power will always give me remainder 1. So if I see this is 240 plus 3 which is a multiple of 16. So I can write this as 240 into 723 to the power 3 divided by 17. Now this part is going to give me remainder 1. So what I am left is only 723 divided by 3 uh, to the power 3 divided by 17. So if I simplify this 17 if I go make it go 17 4 is 68 43 bachega, 17 2 is 34 9 bachega, which means this part gives me remainder 9 cube divided by 17. So finally I get 729 as 9 cube divided by 17. So 17 4 is 68 again I will be remaining 4. When I divide this by 17, I'll get final remainder as 15. So this is this part. Coming on to this side, when I divide again 7, uh, 318 to the power 243 by 17, applying the Fermat theorem again, the power gets reduced. So can I write this as 318 to the power 3 divided by 17 finally? Because the 240th power will give me remainder 1. Now I have to go divide this. So 17 and 308 if I take it. 17 into 20 is 340. So 17 into 18 if I do, it will be 306. So when I do 306, I will be getting here 12 cube as a remainder, finally divided by 17. Now 12 cube is nothing but 1728 divided by 17, the remainder will be, so if I divide this, remainder comes out to be 11. So this part the remainder is 15, this part the remainder is 11. So final remainder will be 15 plus 11 divided by 17, which is 26 by 17. The final remainder comes out to be 9. That is the answer for this. So application of Fermat theorem specifically.